Hi, I'm Mike Zayden, and today's talk is about building game developers here at USC. I'm the director of the USC Game Pipe Laboratory. I'll give you a short bio of myself. Um, I was 21 years at another school, the Naval Postgraduate School, and I, I'm a pioneer in computer graphics, network virtual environments, modeling and simulation, entertainment, and serious games, and I did a lot of fundamental work early on in how do you network games. I founded a thing called the Moves Institute, the Modeling Virtual Environments and Simulation Institute, and I drafted the operating plan and research agenda for the USC Institute for Creative Technologies. I also got to direct the development of the America's Army game. This game create, this created the serious games field and transformed U.S. Army recruiting. Additionally, I founded the USC Game Pipe Laboratory, the, U the USC Computer Science Games Programs, and the USC Games Joint Advanced Games Course. So here's some pictures from my illustrious career. This is the dev team from America's Army. And here's some former students. Uh, one of my former students, Christian Buell, uh, he's at Electronic Arts. He's the technical director for the Madden football game, and before that, the uh, nine NCAA football games. Mike Capps, he is my former PhD student in computer science. He's president emeritus of Epic Games. Uh, he he uh, went to Epic immediately after he finished his PhD and immediately after he and I shipped America's Army 1.0 and he became president of Epic Games inside of one year. Uh, about 12 months ago, 18 months ago, he sold 46% of Epic Games to Tencent Games for $330 billion. So this is something you can look forward to. Alex Mayberry. He was my executive producer for America's Army 2.0. When we finished 2.0, he quit and went to become senior producer for World of Warcraft and lead game producer on Diablo 3. So I've worked with some amazingly great people. I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, our program here. Start out, what is the game industry hiring demand? The game industry hiring demand is 65% for programmers. 30% for artists who know how to do game art and design, and 5% for designers, people who only know how to do gameplay design. So at USC, we have a number of degree programs. We, in Viterbi School of Engineering, we have a bachelor's and a master's in computer science specializing in games. In the School of Cinematic Arts, there's a bachelor's and an MFA in interactive media and games. And we use outside art schools in our, our year-long advanced games class because we don't have a game art program inside of USC, but we're looking at building one in the next year. <clears throat> Primarily, we work with Atlantic University, the Guna College of Art and Design, and the Otis College of Art and Design. So here I am, uh, founded the USC Joint Advanced Games class and the Purdy CS Games program, and my students and alumni at this point have shipped games played by over 790 million players. That's a lot. Scott Easley is Associate Director of the USC Game Pipe Laboratory. He has two Emmys and an Annie Award in game animation. He did the Pixar games, The Incredibles, Ratatouille, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, Abe's Exodus. And uh, let's talk about the Advanced Games class. Advanced Games class, there's an undergraduate version and a graduate version. What it is, it's a year-long class that starts in spring. We do a general call for game designs. We have an industry and faculty panel that reads and decides which games to build in fall and spring semester of the following year. And over the summer, the chosen game leads must flesh out their game design and recruit the development team. So in fall semester, that class is three and a half hours long. Every Thursday, we do agile development, and the goal is playable prototype with 20 to 60 minutes of gameplay by the end of fall semester. Uh, we do a, de a December game and tech showcase. It's a hiring event with some 20-plus com game companies coming with hiring tables. They look at live gameplay throughout the lab. We have a brand new laboratory, uh, and it's wonderful, and we have lots of space for people to walk around. Spring semester, mid-course corrections and continued development on those same games in the advanced games class. Spring semester, end of, uh, end of spring semester demo day, we do again live games in the tech and game showcase in our laboratory. Showcase attendance and placement. We have just about everybody who has a game company or something related to a game company come to our demo day. There's a big list on the screen, but we've got Electronic Arts, Microsoft Game Studios, Activision, Blizzard, Creative Arts Agency, Disney, Insomniac Games, Bungie, Naughty Dog, Gearbox, Apple, Sony, all divisions, Applied Minds, uh, pretty much everybody who makes games who's local to Los Angeles. From that class, we've had a couple games that have gone commercial, and we've had the game uh, Misadventures of PB Winterbottom, 
came out on the Xbox Live Arcade. It was one of the top five games in Xbox Live Arcade. Diversion Shift came out as Konami's Diversion Shift on the Nintendo DS. And the game Dance Pad came out as J. Lowe's Dance Pad. Uh, and it came straight out of the advanced games class. Each of these games got a deal that I hooked them up with Creative Artists Agency. And the students own the IP, so the students get the royalties and money from selling these games. We also do a lot of work in patents, and I won't go over too much of them. We've got a couple of patents. We have three patents right now that uh, there's a company looking at acquiring our three patents. We have, I have two additional licensed patents. If anybody has seen the Nintendo Wii U, there's a nine-axis sensor in the Wii U that does orientation. I co-hold two of the patents that uh, design that sensor. So here's a, here's a slide with very tiny print. It's not going to work very well in video, but it basically shows you you know, our alumni are, ship have shipped games that are played by 790 million players. What kind of games? Well, Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghosts. 50% of the engineers are from here. Electronic Arts, they have shipped games that are played by 37 million players that have engineers from here. Disney, Ultimate Band, Cars 2, Club Penguin, Disney Infinity, Where's My Water, Where's My Perry, Where's My Mickey. Those last three mobile games, 100% of the engineers in those games came right out of my mobile games class. Zynga, every single Zynga game. Farmville, Farmville 2, Cityville, Texas Hold'em Poker, Mafia Wars 1, 2, Yoville, Empires and Allies, Cafe World, Hidden Chronicles, The Ville, Farmville 2, Words with Friends, Scramble with Friends, 480 million players play those games. All the senior software engineers are from here, okay? So StarCraft II, Diablo III, Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. Pretty much you can't build a AAA game title without a Viterbi School of Engineering computer science graduate. All right. Let's talk about alumni. I'm going to flash through some pictures. Here's Batnanda Kumar. He's senior online programmer for Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. What's important about Bat? Each of those games made a billion dollars in revenue in under eight days. I think one of them was eight days, one was seven, one was six days. So this is a, you know, one of our rock stars. Sumit Jakadar, senior software engineer at Treyarch. He is the principal software engineer for Call of Duty. He and one of my current PhD students who is also a master's graduate from the Viterbi School of Engineering are rewriting the entire AI system for the Call of Duty series. When Call of Duty Black Ops 2 came out, they brought me this treasure chest box with game, t-shirt, quadricopter, all their signatures on the box. And this is a group of guys who all graduate at the same time pretty much. And uh, they are just wonderful guys. You can see 50% engineers on this list, Black Ops 2, are from here. Call of Duty Ghost, Skyler Clark, he's at Activision Infinity Ward. Here's a group of alumni at Redwood Shores in Electronic Arts. Here's Artem Kovalov, software engineer. He used to be at Electronic Arts. He did Medal of Honor Warfighter, and then he spun off to Naughty Dog, where he is on Uncharted 4, and he teaches back in our program. Here's Torin Campo. Torin is still over at Electronic Arts Los Angeles. Knight Lubo, gameplay programmer on EA The Sims 4. Here's Frank Dubow, EA president, came to test our games. He, he came three years in a row in March to play our games. Here's Anshul Dewan, senior software engineer on Zynga Poker. Here's Raymond Zhang, Senior Software Engineer on Farmville 1, Farmville 2. Here's Sanyam Basin, Senior Software Engineer on, at Zynga on Words with Friends and Scramble with Friends. There's 100 million players of those two games of which he is the Senior Engineer on. Here's the pack of USC alumni at Zynga, about 20 of our alumni. Here is Kir Bulani, Principal Software Engineer at Zynga. On, he is the former CTO of Wild Needle. Wild Needle got acquired by Zynga. Bang, he's a Zynga employee. He was my TA for my mobile games class. Here's Mike Rattan, technical designer, Sony Santa Monica on God of War Ascension. He has a bachelor's in CS specializing in games from here. His Mihir Chef, he is a technical director on God of War Ascension at Sony Santa Monica. He has a bachelor's in CS specializing in games from here. Travis Prim, bachelor's in CS specializing in games from here. Sony Santa Monica on God of War Ascension and recently he was at, he's been at Rockstar, where he worked on Grand Theft Auto V with Aaron Martin, another alum from the Viterbi School of Engineering. Grand Theft Auto V made a billion dollars in revenue in three days. Here they are, the, the, game, the game dev team, the engineers and tool programmers 
from Grand Theft Auto V when the game came out. They go, out, they always go to, uh, you know, the, the, the to GameStop and show off their game. Here is Bjarni Arnensen. He's the Masters in CS specializing in games from here. He's the graphics engineer on Borderlands 2. Here's Mukul Abdagiri, lead engineer on Club Penguin. Club Penguin at Disney has 18 million players. Happy guy. Where's my Mickey? Ishan Mahir, Lin Tian, Amy Xiao Kong, Chao Huang, Kevin Aguet, all were at Disney Interactive on this game. Disney Infinity, 50% of the engineers at Disney Infinity are the Cherby School of alums in the Central Technology Office. Here's Rob Chang, Masters in CS specializing in games. He is the technical artist on the, the entire Laura Croft series since 2007. Here's Rochelle Davis, Associate Software Engineer at Blizzard. On Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft, she has a Master's in Computer Science specializing in games from here. Here's Roger Houston. He has a Master's in CS specializing in games from here on Diablo 3. Arzen Chibber, Master's in CS specializing in games from here at 2K Marin, Ship the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. We are the number one games program. Anyway, I'm Mike Zida, Director of the USC Game Pipe Laboratory, and Thank you for listening to me, and I, you've got to come here. This is the place to come to get in the game industry and change the world. Thank you.